everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you have not subscribed, please do so now. Today I have created a Marilyn Monroe character and she has been in a relationship with Bob Pancakes. I personally don't like Eliza Pancakes. And I tried to get them to have a orgy, didn't work. So, um, Marilyn and Bob are together, they're a thing now. And Marilyn has this alien roommate roommate named Isla. Isla is a scientist on the game. Uh, uh, what day is it? I believe he wanted to go to the opera today at 8, but it's not popping up anywhere on the calendar. So I guess whenever it's like around 8 o'clock, they'll just like go randomly to the opera. <laughs> Because usually when you go on dates, it's right that minute. And this one was later on in the game. Because you want to go to the opera at 8 in the afternoon. And it's not 8 yet. So I'm guessing whenever it is 8, they'll just go and leave. So this is Isla, our scientist alien. If it, I'm doing this one-handed. So yeah. I'm a little sick today. So if I sound funny, that's why. This is Isla. The alien scientist. And look at Marilyn Monroe. See, we got her the hourglass shape. She looking good. Like, I couldn't find the appropriate hairstyle that I wanted to give her. So, I kind of went with what seemed like the most appropriate hairstyle that <coughs> looked good on her as a Marilyn Monroe character. Marilyn Monroe, she, she's thick. She's sexy. She's iconic. She's smart, beautiful. Like she can do anything and everything. Like she's just an awesome political person in the in the day. So. Like she was hot. She was smart, beautiful. Could do anything and everything. So that's why I picked Marilyn Monroe because she's awesome. She was just awesome in my opinion. So, now that's why I picked a Marilyn Monroe character to be with Bob. And we are going to invite Bob over and have a little soiree. <laughs> and, yeah. I do not like Eliza Pancakes. She just seems like a prune. She, she's a boring prune to me. I don't like her. No offense to those of you who do like Eliza Pancakes. I prefer Bob Pancakes. And Bob's pancakes personality is he's a loner, he's gloomy, and a slob. Those are his personality traits. So the plan is for them to be a thing. He's going to leave his wife, get married to us, and have a kid with us. And happily ever, happily ever after. <laughs> so here they are. I'll smoochie woochie. And I just started this, so I apologize if the house doesn't look so furnitized and everything. <laughs> so I did get a head start on their relationship just to make sure that it would work the way I wanted it to go. And I'm doing this one-handed. And we're going to have them have a baby. Try for a baby. And please let me lo know down below in the comments if you think they're going to have a girl, boy, twins, triplets, singletons. Yay! They're getting it. Oh, go away. Send, send by himself. Send herself. Mm -hmm. And please also comment down below if you would like me to get Eliza pancakes if you want me to get her a man or create her a man and like have her get her happily ever after even though I don't think she needs one because she's kind of boring in her room <laughs> but everybody needs a happy relationship so yeah let me know down below in the comments if you think Eliza pancakes should also get her happy ending with kids and all that but see, this is what Marilyn Monroe looks like before she's pregnant. Now we're going to see if she's pregnant or not. 
she had that nice figure. Let's see what pregnancy will do to her. Yay, she's pregnant. Let's go tell Bob. Okay, Bob, you are going to be thrilled because you are going to be a daddy. And you are going to be moving in. Eliza can go suck a dry corn. Corn Bob. <laughs> corn Cob. <laughs> Aww. Hey Bob is so supportive. He's so happy. He's going to have a kid. Now I bet he's thinking, how am I going to tell my wife? <laughs> Beach. What do you mean, Tell? You've been enjoying all these dates with me. Going to the club. Going to operas. Fireworks. Been teaching you how to dance. Oh, and uh, my sim character here, Marilyn Monroe, she lost her. She went her first time with Bob at the club in the closet. I didn't even know a club could have a closet on this game. It's like, ooh, this is just magical. <laughs> and look at her belly over here. She is in her first trimester. She's just found out her she was pregnant in her first trimester. She already got a belly bump. Let me see if I can maneuver around here. Well, Bob, you gonna stay in there or you gonna dance with me? <coughs> Come here, let me teach you how to dance some more. Or unless you're going to leave. What you going to do? You're going to leave, you're going to dance. What you going to do? Oh, yeah. That's right. Get the dance move going. Teach him how to dance. They look so cute together. They're going to look even cuter after I give Bob a uh, makeover. Like, after he has his child, his child is born, I'm going to give him a makeover. That will probably be in another video. It'll be giving Bob a makeover. <laughs> Let me know if you would like me to give Eliza Pancakes a makeover as well. On the next video I do. No, the next video I do will pretty much be like... Giving Bob Eliza Pancakes a makeover and then giving Eliza Pancakes her halfway a raptor and all that jazz. So yeah. Let me know down below in the comments what you would like me to do for Eliza Pancakes and her makeover. Oh bye Bob, I'll see you at 8 for the opera. No, but for realsies, look at her belly. She in her first trimester she already got a belly bump. But she look good though. She's still dancing it. Should we get her an outfit? Yeah, let's get her. Let's go ahead and dress her up for her date to the opera. She looking fly as hell. Got this little black dress with the red roses pattern on her chest. And like the little lace thing look cute. Where'd she go? Are you in the bathroom? Like, where did you go? Oh, you in the bathroom. Okay. You better come back on with that uh, dress for your date. No! I just, you were supposed to still have your date dress on, not your everyday wear. But this is the white dress she wears for her everyday on The Sims. I wonder if I can get a good angle of her belly bump in a little bit not as much as when she's in her bra or whatever but a little bit she has a little bit of a belly bump and she's only in her first trimester look at that butt look at the butt it pops out it sticks out like Winnie the Pooh <laughs> you mean honey pie you got the butt and you got the belly popping out on the first trimester like Winnie the Pooh can I get that honey pie <laughs> I'm having Marilyn learn how to cook, dance, and sing, y'all. 
She might learn a few other skills along the way, but right now, she's learning how to dance, cook, and sing. <laughs> so those are her, oh yeah, and charisma. She's doing charisma as well, so yeah. Those are her main traits I'm focusing on, is the cooking, the dancing, the singing, and the charisma, and comedy traits mainly. And you know, she's a lovable woman. She's hot, she's smart. She's outgoing and everything. So I want to focus on those traits of bringing out more. If y'all think I should turn into a vampire, let me know in the comments below. Or if you want me to keep her as a human. Or maybe mate with the alien. Oh wait, no, that would be cheating on Bob. Never mind. Just, let's stick to the vampire or stay a human thing. Ooh, maybe if y'all choose for me to create a male sim for Eliza Pancakes, I can make him into an alien. That's if y'all want me to create her a man, instead of go out and find her one. <laughs> Whose kids are these? Oh, okay. Like, the little girl we see all the time, but I've never seen a teenager as much, so I was wondering whose kids those were. <laughs> Girl, why? You? Oh yeah, I forgot you're pregnant. I'm sorry, but I'm almost thinking why she does she keep going to the bathroom, and then I remember she's pregnant. And this is her little picture on the corner here, and you're back in your iconic dress. I you we're gonna change you back into your date dress for the opera. I'm sorry. But girl, you wear the iconic dress literally every day. You could wear your little date dress for this one date. It will probably be your final date because you're pregnant. Maybe one more. Maybe one more. But we'll see. Yeah, you just keep singing. What time is it? Is it almost 8? Yeah, we got about an hour before our date. So we'll keep singing until then. Lollipop, lollipop, la 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 Bubble gum, bubble gum, do 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 do. Two plays. Do do do. I wonder when our roommate gets back. Oh, there's Bob. I can't really read the words. Just snag tickets. Yeah, I want to go. We already planned the opera date earlier. Don't you remember, boy? Oh, I guess that means it's time to go to the opera. But the phone call. Okay, then. She has gone to the opera, apparently. After that phone call. Even though they planned it about 10 hours ago, they were going to the opera at this specific time. And apparently he calls you back. And then you just go to the opera. So yeah, that's how that date works whenever it's planned ahead, hours ahead of time. Did she come back early? Oh, apparently it was boring. Okay. I don't blame you, honey. What you do? Did you get someone to fake call emergency? Like fake call someone broke up with them and you need the support? You, they need your support to fake call to get out the boring date? I don't know. You pregnant, you need your rest. Where is our roommate? She should have been home. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. No. You traitor. Why do you go behind our backs and talk to Miss Eliza Pancakes? Knowing we are having her husband's baby. And her husband is dating us behind her back. How dare you? And you're an alien. Why aren't you in your disguise? Hold on. I gotta put her in her disguise real quick. I love her shorts though. Look like uh, Laura Croft in those shorts. They look badass. I would change the shirt, but I like the shirt too. Like for her, it's okay. But why would you be talking to Miss Eliza? Why is it at the loading screen? All I did was want her to go into her disguise, not change her clothing or anything. 
Like, this is the second time it's done this. Why? Just why? Did I make you mad, boo? Okay, where are you at? Okay, so this is her disguise. What the alien will look like if she appeared human. This is her disguise. Kind of looks like a therapist kind of vibe. Like a hippie therapist. So yeah, that's her disguise. As a human. Even though she's an alien. Extraterrestrial. <laughs> that's Macro. <laughs> Aww. Poor, poor Marilyn, you throwing up. Honey, you're going to have to clean that. <laughs> you're going to have to clean that. What is with those slippers? I did not notice that till now. You got slippers. They kind of match the outfit, though. They're red. She got that belly. And she's not even in her second trimester yet. I think it's like four hours. I think. Till her second trimester is four hours. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sick. Let's see if we can go back to Isla, our alien roommate. Make her wear her human disguise and figure out how much of a friend she is to Miss Eliza Pancakes. Like, oh, there's Vladius. Hi, Vlad. No blood for you today. Bye-bye. Go away. Like, you nice and evil and everything, but no thank you. We cooking a baby. Okay, so how much of a friend are you? Oh, you just met her. Good. Stay away from her. Mm -hmm. You can be friends with her after her husband leaves her. For us. Bye-bye. Now put on your disguise. Nobody needs to know you are an alien yet. Not yet. Maybe when her child is like a teen. Then you can be an alien when she's a teen. Or when you move in with the lights up. So this is her disguise. Oh. Oh, it didn't even change her to her everyday outfit. It just kept her in this cute little outfit of hers. Okay. I don't got a problem with that. It looked cute on her. Not really crazy about the flannel shirt matching with those badass shorts, but it looks cute on her. Bye, Eliza. Stay away from Bob. <laughs> Oh, what what am I talking about? Y'all still live together, but y'all look, but y'all don't sleep in the same bed. Y'all sleep in different rooms. Ha! Ah. Probably why Bob's always gloomy. She's always trying to be perfectionist. Look at this bump. She's now second in her second trimester. She got the bump. She's in her second trimester now. So yay! Second trimester, she's in her second trimester. Oh, mm -mm. Hi, Bob. I am so glad to see you. You want to feel it for your baby? So we need to make a doctor's appointment. So we are going to have Bob move in with us and later on down the road when the baby becomes a toddler I am probably going to move Isla out of the house and into with Miss Eliza Pancakes. Probably going to do that. If not I might move, the, move her in with Bella Goff. Because Bella Goth has like this mysterious thing to her. I I do believe one of the theories is aliens involved. So I might move her in with Bella Goth. Or Ella, Miss Eliza Pancakes. But for now we're moving Bob in with us. Because we're having his baby. And we're going to convince him to leave his wife. And then we are going to get him to marry us. And that's just the plan. That's Eliza. Bye bye. Go away. And Bob, he is in his third level of uh, being a chef. He's about to be in his fourth level in his career. He's about to get another promotion. 
So he's doing good in his career. If you do not know, there are 10 levels in your careers on the Sims 4 game. There are 10 levels in each career. And Bob is about to get a promotion on to be level 4 in the chef career. So he's doing pretty good in, in his job. At his job. So he's good. We making that dough. Support us financially. Yeah. Marilyn, I might get her into politics when the, ba when the baby becomes a child. She might go into politics. Wow, our husband is a chef. That seems like a good duo, right? A chef and a politician? Does that sound good together? Oh, you left your wife for us. Thank you so much, honey. But why the negative heart? Why is there like the negative heart red thing? You left your wife for us and you love us. Like, why? Let me switch over to him and see why. Oh! Okay, he was from the gloomy trait. So he did divorce her. Awesome. He's gonna be sad for two days, though. That's so sad. I'm so sorry, boo. I make you talk to you. I make you happy. Hell, on our first date together, he said he was so happy and never felt that way and ever with Eliza. So, boo, I, we got this. You're going to be so happy with Marilyn and y'all's baby. You're going to be so much happier than you were with Eliza. So now, since he left Eliza, they done divorced. All we got to do is get them engaged, get them married, and then pop out the baby. Like a pop tart, huh? Pocket. Oh. Okay, let's talk to him a little bit. Kind of console him, let him know we're here for him and everything. Both friendly and romantically. And then we'll have him pop the question. Oh, she said, yes. And look at her all second trimester pregnant and shit. They engaged. He just left Eliza Pancakes' ex-wife now. For Marilyn Monroe. Yas queen. Yes, bitch. Now, like, I know my character is a young adult, but is Bob Pancakes an adult or a young adult? I don't know. I need to check that out. I'll probably do that in the next video when I'm editing him and all that jazz. See, so Marilyn is, also, is obviously the big bed, and our alien roommate has this little small bed. I need to buy baby stuff before the baby gets there, like legit. We need to prepare ourselves, Bob, before the baby comes. Are you going to come to bed or what? Okay. We got the scientist, the chef, and for now, the future politician. Well, right now she's a stay-at-home mom. Soon to be stay-at-home mom, but she will become a future politician. We'll go to the bathroom, hon. Why are you waving your hand? Don't look at me. Yo. Oh. Okay, let's see. Why won't you let me click on it? Like, I'm trying to observe here. You're not letting me click on the little square. Thank you. You're almost done, honey. I need you to be getting dressed and doing shit. Doing stuff. Shazam. Where'd you go? Are you outside or are you getting food? Oh, you're getting food. Okay. I still need you to get dressed. Like, honey, why do you like being in bra and underwear? You need to be dressed. <laughs> like, this is my first sim that I think, I do believe, ha likes being in her pajamas. 
Because she has not changed out of them yet. Okay, so we changed her into her everyday clothes. And they are about to elope. They are getting hitched. They are eloping. Like Las Vegas. So, I just realized that they were eloping when he was in his robe. And I didn't even change his outfit for it. <laughs> yeah, that's special. <laughs> So I believe she is uh, now in her third trimester and they are just now getting married by, by eloping. Viva Las Vegas! Marilyn Monroe, do you take Durango, Durango? <laughs> like in Las Vegas, how some of them dress up as certain characters, or at least in the movies some of them do. Nah, but Marilyn Monroe took Bob Pancakes. It is now Marilyn Pancakes. Sh should we hyphenate her name, change it, or keep her maiden name? What do y'all think? Please comment down below if she should be Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn Monroe Pancakes, or Marilyn Pancakes. Because I know the baby's going to have Bob's last name, but I'm not too sure what I should do with Marilyn's last name. Please comment what y'all should think. And if y'all have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. That would be very appreciative. Wow, we are 27 minutes in. Now, how can we get this baby out of you? Let's see if we can fast forward. Let's see. If the baby's not out of you by tomorrow, which will be Friday on the game, because today's Thursday on the game, tomorrow will be Friday, the baby should be out. But if it's not out by Saturday, we need to induce you that day to have that baby. Because you need that baby taken out and now. You need to get back in shape. Like, you look good in mother mode and everything, but you need to go back to being the iconic baddie. <laughs> you need to rock it. Not that you're already rocking me and the mom, but you're rocking, rocking, rocking me. Okay, so, you and my battery's on 15%. <laughs> That's nice. That's just lovely. So, yeah, it's like you're going to be moving out uh, um, whenever our child gets a little older and needs its own room. You will be moving out with either Eliza or Bella. We will find out very shortly. And do you, did you bring a friend over? Do you know who this is at our front porch? I don't know. Let's just ignore him and hope he leaves. Oh, he left, girl. He just left. Don't need this being like a Home Alone or Home Alone 3 in here. We ain't got the materials. <laughs> oh. And sorry about that. I had to get my husband a drink and some food. So I am going to take this frog out and put it in her room. And I am going to sell some items so we can have some money. For the baby. And also pay bills. <laughs> I'm going to put this frog. I'm going to keep it because it's a very rare frog. And I'm going to keep it in her room. Um, so hopefully it will go the way I wanted her to put it. Okay, honey, you can go to sleep after you put the frog in your room. Hopefully not in a walkway, so you're, it's not in the way of you walking to the bed and all that. Come on, put the frog down. Oh. Thank you, and you put it right in front of you. Lovely, okay. Close enough. <laughs> I'll fix it later. Good night, night. And Bob is in the shower, and all these lovely ladies are just sleeping with the frog.
Mm. We'll see. I might move her in with Eliza until Eliza gets her own man. And then I'll probably move her in with Bella. Because Bella, she already has her own family. She's not lonely or anything. She's mysterious. She's got a lot of stuff going on. And Eliza, she's just going to be all alone. Well, she's already all alone now. So, so Eliza gets her own man. Isla will be living with Eliza. And then she'll be moving with Bella. So, that. Okay. We got this. Okay. I'm just going to zoom right through this so that way the baby process can go faster because <laughs> I don't use cheat sheets or anything like that. I do all natural. Well then go pee honey. Don't wave your hand at me. Oh y'all the house caught on fire and Marilyn was just there to save the day. That was Marilyn taking out the fire. I went, Marilyn was taking out the fire and she's pregnant, y'all. I wonder what that did to her mood. Oh, it just made her confident. Nothing gets this sim down. She stays happy and now confident after that fire. Like, she is not down at all. She's not tense, mad, sad, or anything like that. She's just confident and happy. <laughs> and she's pregnant and she took out a fire. She badass. Where were you, Bob, huh? Where were you when the fire started? Were you sleeping? Hmm? I saw you come up behind me. Trying to act like the hero. Nah. But thank you, though. You know, it was poorly timing. <laughs> thank you. It's love. She was just over here like a chicken with the fire. She was, ah. What do you do? Marilyn saved the day. Oh, go have baby at hospital. She's having the baby. Moment of truth, girl or boy. How many will it be? I kind of hope they have a girl. They have a girl. I kind of want to have a name that spices the, like, Marilyn and Bob name together. But I'm pretty sure my husband will wake up soon. Or want some. My husband probably wants to be in, so let's try and find a name that starts with an M or a B real quick. And then I'll change the last name to Pancakes. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sick. Like um, I skipped over two names that I like that like combine their name together. Because I was clicking on it too fast. It's like, no. Come back. So pancakes. Last name pancakes. And I already forgot what the, the name of the baby was. I know it starts with an M. Mariah. Mariah pancakes, everyone. Marilyn and Bob had a baby named Mariah Pancake. Cakes. Hi, Mariah. You look like your daddy. With that skin tone, yes you do, you look like your daddy. Ooh, maybe I should have Bob and Eliza have a love child. Ooh, I don't know, maybe we'll have to see how this goes. And I'm gonna leave it here. Y'all have a nice day.